Welcome to the Immigration.ca live stream series. My name is Andrea, and I'm here with immigration lawyer Colin Singer. Colin is managing partner of Immigration.ca and InvestmentImmigration.com. Today we're going to be discussing how you can qualify under a Canadian business immigration program. So Colin, as practitioners know, there's been many changes over the past year for Canadian business immigration. So what are some of these changes? So uh, it's important to note that uh, during the past year, year and a half, uh, immigration programs have been moving towards a temporary work permit or an expression of interest. So his, previously what was going on was people were applying into the various provinces and they were presenting a project that they were intending to launch and start a business in Canada. On the basis of that project, people were becoming approved as business entrepreneurs in one of the provinces. Naturally, what's happened is many of these projects have never come to fruition. And so governments have started to realize that there's no point in having these programs that actually never bring the intended businesses to fruition. So what they're now doing is they are looking at candidates who appear serious, and they're offering them an opportunity to start their business in a province uh, with a business plan and if the individual's plan looks uh, to be reasonable and the candidate has the requisite requirements, then candidates are given an invitation to open their business on a work permit. So basically business programs have become two-stage. For most of the provinces, there's no longer a direct pathway to permanent residence through a business immigration program. So this has been a trend and what's probably going to happen is many individuals are probably going to think carefully about applying for a business program. Okay, so what are some of the major characteristics then of business programs? So predominantly they're point-based system. Uh, individuals need to have uh, business management experience. They need to have a certain net worth and it starts Again, this is a topic that we've uh, covered quite thoroughly on our website, on the menu, uh, Business and Investment Immigration, on our website. So you'll be able to see each and every province with their business immigration program. Uh, so you start off by submitting an expression of interest uh, with a general idea of what you want to do. And it's a point-based system, and it's a number of factors based on age, education, language is definitely an important element. What's become very important for some of the provinces, do you have prior history in the province? Have you visited the province? Do you have family in the province? Uh, so there's more and more of a, uh, a look to candidates that uh, have a good tie to the province. They've made a long, you know, a, a, a good effort to visit, meet with businesses. So uh, there's, uh, again, every week or whatever I should say, there every week is, is a draw that takes place in one of the provinces. And it's a question of what uh, score you need, very similar to the uh, express entry system. So the, the broad strokes are that it's uh, an invitation, expression of interest, and those that are accepted will be given an opportunity to launch their business on a work permit. So the, the pathway to permanent residence is much more uh, multi-stage. It's no longer direct, except for a couple of provinces that do have uh, a direct pathway. Um, uh, Quebec, for example, recently changed their rules last month, and they do have a, a direct pathway, but it's a very limited number of cases that will be accepted. Okay, so moving on to the big question, how can one qualify? So, are, yeah, so generally what you want to have is you want to have a certain net worth of at least 500,000 Canadian dollars. You want to ideally own your own business. Of course, managers, uh, high-level managerial personnel, are, are, are qualified to, to be considered for this type of program, but it seems the provinces, when they're issuing their draws, periodic draws, they're looking to individuals that 
have a, an existing business and they have prior experience in, in running their own business. You'll also see that one of the important hallmarks of qualifying is you need to have a language ability in either uh, one of Canada's official languages. So if it's going to be English, uh, you need to have a CLB4, which is what we would call um, intermediate level English. So you obviously have to meet certain uh, English language requirements in order to even qualify to be an entrepreneur to Canada. Okay, so what's expected then of an entrepreneur or a business investor? So when they make their plan, they're expected to make a substantial investment in the local economy that they're going to settle in within two years of, of uh, being invited to apply or within two years of uh, getting their work permit. Uh, and it needs to be broadly uh, defined as creating a significant contribution to the economy. Uh, the minimum investments can range around $150,000. And the province of Ontario has the highest threshold for one of its streams. And that is a, a $10 million requirement. Again, it depends on the location of your business, some provinces have businesses that are excluded from even consideration. Ontario surely has an exclusion list. Quebec has an exclusion list. Uh, and you need to be employing at least one Canadian permanent resident or a Canadian citizen. Those are the broad strokes. Um, and in terms of uh, time frames, it, it generally takes about a year to have your expression of interest application looked at, then you would be given, in, in most of the provinces, you would be given uh, an opportunity to launch your business through a work permit, and then you would have two years to meet the conditions, and then from there, of course, while you're building your business, you would be uh, monitored, you would be expected to produce periodic reports showing that in fact you're meeting the conditions of the provincial program. Okay, so basically from what we've been discussing today, I mean, there are the business programs, and programs are there, but it seems like there could be maybe a lot of work, but with not that much certainty. So is there an alternative? There's an excellent alternative, as, as we've, we've conveyed and, and, and as the, the reality of the current landscape is, you're often being given a work permit to launch your new business. Uh, what does exist uh, in the immigration industry at the federal level, you can buy a business and under the owner operator work permit rules, you can become a work permit holder under the federal temporary foreign worker program so that if you are acquiring the majority shares of an existing business, this is an excellent vehicle for you to actually become a permanent resident because you wouldn't have to deal with the uh, bureaucratic process that exists in most of the provinces. You would be able to buy the business of your choice in the city of your choice and then you could qualify for a work permit under Canada's temporary foreign worker program. These policies uh, have been formulated uh, in, in Ottawa uh, the end of 2016, uh, early 17, uh, they came out with these owner-operator policies. We've written about these uh, policies, and you can find that on our website under the uh, menu of business and investment immigration. You'll see on every page of uh, each program that we, we summarize, you'll find the owner-operator rules and the program that would exist. So realistically, if you're a candidate that wants to become a business entrepreneur to Canada, it makes a very compelling uh, argument for you to consider the temporary foreign worker program where you can buy a business. You, we will obviously be able to help you structure uh, the purchase of the shares of the business. Uh, with, with proper counseling, you'll be able to minimize the risks in that you would only uh, release the funds to the, new, to, the, to the seller once your work permit has been issued. So there are ways for you to uh, complete this process with reasonable safeguards. And quite realistically, the entire process, once you've identified 
a business that you want to purchase, whether that be in Toronto, in Vancouver, Calgary, Montreal, they all work under the federal regime to get a work permit so that the entire process could be uh, concluded in really two or three months uh, from the time you've identified the business, you've put an offer on the business, and ultimately uh, you could qualify under the for permanent residence. The interesting aspect and the attractiveness of this program is that you could become a permanent resident. You can access other programs uh, for example, the Federal Skilled Worker Program, you could consider applying depending on your qualifications. And ultimately, if that were not an option for you, you surely would be able to look at the Provincial Entrepreneur Programs because your, your, your project would already be operating. And so you might qualify uh, under the Skilled Worker Rules for each province. Again, you're moving away from the formal provincial entrepreneur programs and you're looking at the work permit programs which as a business manager as an owner you would likely qualify depending on all other factors this is a very viable option to Canada's formal entrepreneur programs great so as Colin mentioned uh please go to immigration.ca and under the tab, it's business and investor, you'll see, you'll be able to read about all the programs that we discussed. And also, more importantly, if you're interested, we do have a free online assessment. So please do complete our online assessment so we can assess and then get back to you with your options. And also, please follow us on Twitter. Uh, so it would be immigration.ca and investmentimmigration.com. And please like us on Facebook and we'll keep you posted on when the next live stream will be. Great. So thank you very much for joining us. Thanks so much. Have a great day. See you soon.